Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome you to another edition of NXT. We have some great matches planned for you all tonight. We are coming to you live from Winter Park, Florida for this edition of NXT here tonight. Now folks, we are going to kick the night off with the NXT North American Champion, Johnny Gargano. Johnny Gargano has his hands full next week as he puts that title on the line against his Achilles heel, Pete Dunne. But Johnny Gargano has some words for the WWE Universe here tonight. So far, Johnny Gargano has been a very proud champion. He has successfully defended that title against the likes of EC3. Robert Rue and Apollo Crews. I tell you, John Gargano really brings out the best in all of his opponents. But let's see what Johnny Wrestling has to say. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to NXT. Now, as you all know, I have a big championship match coming up next week, and I am defending my title against Pete Dunne. Now, you all know, me and Pete Dunne, we're going to tear the house down. Our match at the Royal Rumble was absolutely legendary. But the thing about it is, I came up short in that match. Our ladder match at the tables, ladders, and chairs per view, it was a banger, but I came up short. Our match on 205 Live before WrestleMania, we had a great match. But I came up short. But this time it's going to be different. This time Johnny Wrestling will overcome Pete Dunne. This time I am the champion walking into this match. And I have the heart of a champion. And I will successfully defend my title against Pete Dunne. Pete Dunne is not going to beat Johnny Gargano this time around. Now wait a minute. Looks like Johnny Gargano is about to get some company in that ring. As here comes the Bruiserweight, former Cruiserweight Champion, Pete Dunne. Last week here on NXT, Pete Dunne defeated Neville in one heck of a match to become the number one contender to the NXT North American Championship. I tell you, Pete Dunne and Neville, they put on a classic last week. And I tell you, Pete Dunne and Johnny Gargano have put on some classics as well. That match at the Royal Rumble is a very memorable one. Definitely in the top five matches in Universe Mode history. Every time these guys have fought, Pete Dunne has came out the winner. But let's see what the Bruiserweight has to say. Johnny, our match next week will end just how all our other matches ended. With me walking out as the champion. And you want to know why? It's because you don't have what it takes to beat me. You're not good enough to beat Pete Dunne. Well, Pete, we're going to see next week. This is a different Johnny Gargano. This is a determined Johnny Gargano. This Johnny Gargano is the NXT North American Champion. And in order to beat me for this title, they're going to have to kill me because I'm going to give it all I have next week when I beat you, Pete Dunne. Johnny, our fairy tales must come to an end. And next week, your fairy tale run with that North American Championship will come to an end. Johnny Gargano, next week, Superman will meet Kryptonite. Pete, I saw what you did to Neville last week, and I am 100% prepared for our matchup next week. I may have failed at TLC, I may have failed at the Royal Rumble, but I am not going to fail next week, and I will finally beat you and retain my title. What, what is this? Oh man, Johnny Gargano tried to strike Dunn with the championship, but Dunn with a strike. Oh, uh, no. Pete Dunne, oh my goodness, a bitter end on a championship. My goodness. Pete Dunne just laid out the NXT North American champion. And there's another strike. No, not again. Not again. And oh my goodness, another bitter end. And now Pete Dunne has that championship. And folks, will this be the same? Next, we're going to NXT. Are we looking at our next NXT North American Champion? My goodness. 
What a chaotic way to start NXT. But here comes the EST of NXT. The NXT Women's Champion, Bianca Belair. Last week on NXT, Bianca Belair lost to Dewdrop. So the champ is looking to bounce back tonight as she goes one on one with Candice LeRae. That was indeed a great match between Dewdrop and Bianca last week. But Bianca came up short. A lot of people are calling that an upset win. Because a lot of people were not expecting Dewdrop to beat Bianca Belair. And that was Dewdrop's first match here in Universe Mode. But here comes the Poison Pixie. Candice LeRae. These two had an amazing matchup back at NXT TakeOver In Your House. And there's Candice. Candace and Bianca know one another so well. And from Anaheim, California, Candace LeRae. Before Candace LeRae had this new attitude, she lost to Bianca Belair, and that caused Candace LeRae to change. And Candace LeRae has not been the same since. And folks, if Candice Ray can beat Bianca Belair tonight, this could be a huge victory for her. I mean, Dewdrop beat Bianca last week. So we got Bianca Belair versus Candice LeRae. Referee rings the bell, and here we go. There's a strike. What a strike by Bianca. There's a kick. DDT. Oh, oh but wait a minute. Bianca Belair. With some punches and Bianca Belair is free. And Bianca with a spear. And to the cover. That's two. Kick out of two by Candice. There's a punch by Candice LeRae. There's a kick. And I can't LeRae with a neck breaker to Bianca. And Bianca with a headbutt. Bianca off the ropes. And Bianca with a frog splash. Hooks the leg. Will that be enough to put away Candice? No. Another two count on Candice LeRae. What a strike. Oh, what a slam by Candice. There's a double foot stomp. There's a neck snap. And now Candice LeRae with a springboard moonsault. Hooks the leg. That's two. Kick out of two by Bianca. Candice LeRae pulled out that springboard moonsault early in this matchup. There's a kick. And there's a close on by Candice LeRae. And now it's Candice. Headed to the top rope. Oh, what a splash by Candice. Would that splash be enough? No, Bianca survives. A look of disbelief on the face of Candice LeRae. Oh, what a counter by Bianca Belair. And now Bianca Belair has Candice LeRae. This ain't good. There's a glam slam. Answer the cover. Would that be enough to beat Candice LeRae? No, Candice able to kick out of two. A look of disbelief on the face of the EST. What a strike by Candace. Now Candace with a kick. Oh man! Knee right to the face. That's two. Kick out of two by Bel Air. Headbutt by Bianca. Now 
Another Bianca Belair. That's a punch by Candice LeRae. And now Candice has to hold of Bianca. Puts Bianca against the ropes. She throws Bianca, but that's the outside of the ring. Well, what is Candice LeRae doing? Candice LeRae has a crazy look in her eye. Uh-oh. Candice off the ropes. And Candice suicide diving. Bianca Belair hits that announce table hard. Fans in attendance tonight saying this is awesome. There's a kick right to the gut. Oh, what a slap by Bianca Belair. Now Bianca with a kick. And now Bianca face buster. Man to the cover. Will that be enough to put away Candice? No, Candice kicks out at two. Bianca Belair feels that should have been three. And now Bianca Belair headed to the top. Bianca Belair. 450 splash. One, two, three. No, kick out. How did Candice kick out of that? Oh, what a chop by Candice LeRae. And now Candice with a shoulder breaker to Bianca. Oh, uh, this is not where Bianca Belair wants to be. Oh, uh, Candice LeRae. No, no Candice, no. Oh, my goodness. She calls that the wicked stepsister. Hooks the leg. Will that be enough to put away Bianca? No, Bianca Belair kicks out of the wicked stepsister. Candace can't believe it. Fans in women's wrestling. And now Bianca Blair has her up again. Glam slam. Into the cover. Would that be enough to put away Candace? No, a kick out. What a strike. There's a kick. And now Candice LeRae. Sunset flip powerbomb. Will that be enough to put away Bianca? No, Bianca Belair. Gets that shoulder up at the count of two. Slap by Bianca. And look at the power of Bianca Belair. Power slam. Shoulders are down. That's two. Kick out of two. Near fall after near fall. What a strike by Candace. Candace with a clothesline. And now Candace LeRae headed to the top rope. What's Candace gonna do? Now wait a minute, Bianca getting back to her feet. Candace, oh man, went for a strike. And there's a kick by Bianca. Wait a minute. Dewdrop? Is Dewdrop here? Bianca Belair is distracted, and so is the official. Well, there's Dewdrop right there with a steel chair. Oh, I'm getting a chair shot right to the face. Now, I know the ref can put two and two together and call it disqualification. Now, Kane is into the cover. Oh, man, not like this. Not like this. Oh, but Bianca kicks out of two. There's a headbutt. Dewdrop almost cost Bianca Belair a match. There's a kick. And there's a DDT to Bianca. Will that DDT be enough? No, Bianca survives yet again. And now Candace LeRae starting to get frustrated. Oh, Candace looking to put the final nail in the coffin here. And Candace with the wicked stepsister again. Answer that cover. Would that be enough to put away Bianca? No, Bianca Belair survives. How did Bianca Belair kick out of that? And now Candace headed to the top. Candace LeRae. Moonsault. Oh, man, but Bianca got her knees up. 
Those knees going right to the gut of Candace. And now Bianca looking to take advantage. With the KOD. Kiss of death. Into the cover. Will that be enough to put away Candace? Yes, it will. Bianca Belair picks up the win. Folks, what a match. Even though Dewdrop almost ruined it. Bianca Belair gets the win over Candice LeRae here tonight. And I still can't believe Dewdrop hit Bianca Belair in the head with a steel chair. I still don't know how Candice LeRae was able to kick out of that 450 splash. That kick out surprised me, honestly. But it was the KOD that did the trick here tonight. That kiss of death put Candice LeRae out for the three count. Here is your winner, Bianca Belair. Well, Bianca Belair bounces back from that loss she took last week. At the hands of Dewdrop. Congrats to Bianca Belair on defeating Candice LeRae here tonight on NXT. Wait a minute, that's Karrion Cross. Oh my goodness! Karrion Cross attacking Robert Roode! We haven't seen Karrion Cross since NXT take over Brooklyn. And now sending Roode into those boxes. What the world, Karrion? That was rude as defenseless. There's a kick by Karrion Cross. Oh my god, he has this man on a power bomb position. Wait a minute. No. No. Oh my god! Through the table! Onto those chairs! Well, oh, rude is broken in half. Now Karrion Cross using that chair to attack Robert Rude. He has another chair. And again. Oh my goodness. This man is just denning up chairs on the body of Robert Rude. Enough is enough, Carrying Cross. Enough is enough. Oh no. Don't do this. No. Oh man, a forearm. Right to the back of the neck. I hope Karrion Cross is happy with what he has done to Robert Roode. This doesn't make any sense. A vicious attack on Robert Roode. But folks, it is time for some tag team action. As here comes a team that really surprised me last week. Here comes Imperium. Last week, these guys were able to defeat the NXT Tag Team Champions, the Viking Raiders. Walter in the middle. Fabian Eichner on your left. Marcel Bartel on your right. Imperium making their way to the ring here tonight. Imperium had one heck of a debut last week. An amazing tag team match against the NXT Tag Team Champions. That win last week could have possibly put them in line for a future tag team title opportunity. But tonight these guys are going up against Mustache Mountain. So we're going to see can Imperium get another victory here tonight. Or was that victory against the Tag Champs last week just beginner's luck? These guys are gentlemen. And well, they have no other choice but to be gentlemen when the ring general is their leader. Here come Mustache Mountain. Trent Seven and Tyler Bate. 
And there's Tyler Bate right there. And here comes Trent Seven. And their opponents at a combined weight of 391 pounds. Trent Seven and Tyler Bate, Mustache Mountain. The last time we saw these guys, it was a little bit before Enix to take over Brooklyn. That suffered a loss in a tag team match. And well, it looked like they didn't get along pretty well after the match. But hopefully Mustache Mountain, they work things out and hopefully they look to get the victory here tonight. It looked like they wanted to break up a little bit before they take over Brooklyn. But it looks like that's not the case. As they look to be on the same page tonight. And in order to beat a team like Imperium, you must be on the same page. But this should be one heck of a tag team match. I have a feeling this is going to be a show stealing tag match. Fans in the NXT. So Fabian Eichner is going to start this match against Trent Seven. Our referee rings the bell and here we go. What a strike. Iris whip. Oh man, look at the power. Oh, what a backbreaker. Two Trent Seven. Kick to the back. What a strike. Went for a chop block. And Trent with a kick right to the face. Oh man, look at these punches by Trent Seven. What a strike. Face first in the corner. There's a tag to Marcel. There's a diving shoulder tackle into the cover. Will that be enough to put away Seven? No, Seven kicks out. What a counter. Dragon suplex. Shoulders are down. That's two. Kick out of two. There's a kick. Oh, what a chop. Now Trent Seven going to work here. Irish whip. There's a tag to Tyler Bate. Double super kick to Marcel. And Marcel makes the tag to Fabian Eichner. There's a strike by Eichner. Shot by Tyler Bate. German suplex. Would that be enough to put away Eichner? No, a kick out of two. And now Tyler Bate with a standing moonsault. That's it, a cover. Would that be enough to put away Eichner? No, a kick out of two again. What a strike. There's a kick. Now look at this. Oh, what a power bomb. My goodness. Into the cover. Will that power bomb be a... Oh, no. It won't be enough. As Trent Seven breaks up that pin. There's a kick. Oh, what a hurricane runner. Elbow right to the chest. There's a strike by Eichner. There's a neck breaker. Ah, oh, tripping to the corner. There's a tag to Marcel. Punch right to the gut. Now Marcel, but well, wait a minute, Tyler Bate with some elbows and Tyler Bate is free. German suplex. Irish whip. 
Tag to Trent Seven. Now what are these guys doing? Double Irish whip. Double hip toss. There's a strike by Marcel. And Marcel with a clothesline. And now Marcel Bartel going to work on Trent Seven. What a start by Trent. Trent with a kick. Oh man, look at this. Oh, what a pile driver. My goodness. Answer the cover. Will that be enough? No. Fabian Eichner breaks up the pin. These two men going back and forth. And now look at this. Aaron Siren. Answer the cover. Would that be enough to put away Trent Seven? No, Tyler Bate breaks up that pin. Oh, look at Marcel going right after Tyler Bate. Talk about a cheap shot. There's a kick. Now off the ropes. And there's a drop kick. Talk about a cheap shot. As Tyler Bate is still down on the floor. There's a tag. Now wait a minute. What are these guys doing? Oh man, you're looking to finish this match. With that powerbomb uppercut combo. Answer the cover. Would that be enough to put away Trent Seven? No! He kicked out! He kicked out somehow! Eichner can't believe it! What a strike. That's a shot. Clothesline! My God! Would that be enough to put away Imperium? No! Eichner kicked out! I'm surprised Marcel didn't try to break that up. But I guess it only shows that he has faith in his tag team partner. Fans saying tag team wrestling. And this is what it's all about here tonight. What a strike by Trent Seven. Rolling Centon. And now it's Trent to the top. Trent Seven. Oh man, what a die. Into the cover. Will that be enough to put away Eichner? No, a kick out of two. That's down to the floor. Goes Marcel Bartel. And now look at this. Oh, what a power driver. Into the cover. Will that be enough to put away Eichner? No, Eichner kicks out yet again. Eichner sure took a lot of punishment, and I'll tell you that. And look at these chops by Trent Seven. My goodness. He's lighting him up like a Christmas tree. And there's a punch. Face press off the top turnbuckle. And now I believe Mustache Mountain might be looking to put this match to bed. Oh, what a knee. Oh, my goodness. He just slammed the man face first. Would that be enough? That's two. Kick out of two. And over the top goes Marcel Bartel. And now Marcel and Trent Seven just battling on the outside of the ring. There's a kick. Now look at this. Power bomb. Sit out. Power bomb. One. Two. Three. No, a kick out. I can't believe it. What's going on there on the outside of the ring? Jesus Christ. Those two men are just beating the heck out of one another. Marcel and Trent Seven just going at it. This match is just pure chaos. But that's what NXT is. Pure chaos.
This is the only show where you're gonna find chaos like this, I tell you that. Double back by the drop. There's a kick. German suplex. Look at this. Face first goes Marcel. There's a standing moonsault. Hooks the leg. That might be enough. That's two. Fabian Eichner breaks up that pin. What a strike. Butterfly suplex. Shoulders are down. That's two. Kick out of two. What a stomp. Went for a kick. That leg was caught. There's a dragon screw. What a strike. Elbow. And now look at this. Air at Siren. Hooks the leg. That might be enough. That's two. Oh, but Trent Seven comes in clutch by breaking up that pin. And there's a back suplex of seven. Oh, what a strike. Elbow. Went for a kick. That was counted. What a strike. Uh oh. Oh, what a throw. And that busted open Tyler Bate. Down goes Trent Seven. Into the cover. Will that be enough to put away Tyler Bate? Yes, it will. Imperium pick up the win. Folks, what a match. These two teams put on a classic. But it's Imperium coming out with the victory. Oh, come on now, Eichner. You guys won the match. Marcel and Eichner won the match. They're just being sore winners. Why are they doing this? I would assume Imperium is putting the NXT Tag Team Division on notice. Congrats to Imperium on picking up the win here tonight on NXT. NXT Universe, I have a few announcements to make. Last week on NXT, do drop pinned the NXT Women's Champion Bianca Belair. And earlier tonight, she interfered in Bianca's match against Candice LeRae. But because do drop pinned the champion last week, on next week's edition of NXT, Bianca Belair will defend her NXT Women's Championship against do drop. Earlier tonight, we also saw Karrion Cross viciously attack Robert Roode backstage. So on next week's edition of NXT, we're going to have an NXT TakeOver Brooklyn rematch as Karrion Cross will go one-on-one -on -one with Robert Roode. And of course next week, Pete Dunne will get a shot at the NXT North American Championship against Johnny Gargano. Next week's edition of NXT is stacked. Now it's time for our main event as Damian Priest will defend his NXT Championship against Tommaso Ciampa. Well, ladies and gentlemen, up next is our main event. As we're going to have an NXT TakeOver Brooklyn rematch as Tommaso Ciampa looks to regain his NXT Championship when he takes on the NXT Champion, Damian Priest. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT Championship. Main event time, hitting out on the black and gold brand. As here comes the Psycho Killer, former NXT Champion, Tommaso Ciampa. And there he is, last week on NXT, after Damian Priest had defeated Mustafa Ali in the main event, Tommaso Ciampa came in with a steel chair and viciously attacked the NXT Champion, Damian Priest. And then he would lay Priest out. With a fairy tale ending, and he will hold up that championship belt to end the show last week. Tommaso Ciampa had one heck of a reign as the NXT champion, I tell you that. During his reign, he was successful to defend his NXT championship against wrestlers 
such as Robert Roode, Karrion Cross, and Velveteen Dream. Those are just three opponents that he beat. But he would lose that title at TakeOver Brooklyn to Damian Priest in a no host bar match. And that was one heck of a no host bar match. I still don't know to this day how Tommaso Ciampa is able to walk the way he's walking. Because him and Damian Priest, they went through it in that no host bar match. And although this match right here tonight has rules, I can guarantee it's going to be a good one to watch. Tommaso Ciampa looking to become a two-time NXT champion here in Universe Mode tonight. And here comes the Archer of Infamy. The current NXT champion, Damian Priest. Last week he had an awesome matchup against Mustafa Ali. And I am 100% sure Damian Priest has not forgotten what Tommaso Ciampa did to him last week. This will be Damian Priest's first title defense. And I always put it like this. A champion's first title defense is always the toughest title defense. Because it's going to show whether Damian Priest is championship material or not. So this is an opportunity for Damian Priest to prove himself as the NXT champion. NXT Championship graphics shown your screen. And that's what it's all about here tonight. Now let's take it down to Greg Hamilton for the in-ring introductions. Introducing the challenger from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Weighing in at 201 pounds. Tommaso Ciampa. And introducing the champion from New York, New York, weighing in at 249 pounds. He is the NXT Champion, Damian Priest. A big fight feel here tonight in Winter Park, Florida. And also may I add, this is the first NXT Championship match in our new location of Winter Park, Florida. The ref holds up the gold, and that's what it's all about. That NXT Championship. Tommaso Ciampa. Damian Priest. Referee rings the bell, and here we go. What a strike by Ciampa. Strike by Priest. Shot by Ciampa. Strike by Priest. What a strike by Priest. Count about Tommaso. Now Tommaso went for a clothesline. There's a kick by Priest. Arthros is Priest. What a punch right to the side of the head. Elbow right to the chest. Went for a big boot. Oh, roll up by Champa here. Shoulders down. That's two. Oh, man. Kick out of two by Priest. Tommaso Champa almost had it. There's a kick by Damien. As a punch by Tommaso. And Tommaso with a clothesline. Would that be enough to put away Priest? No. Priest able to get that shoulder up at the count of two. And now look at Tommaso Ciampa with these strikes. There's a kick. Uh-oh. Damian Priest. South of heaven. Would that be enough to put away Tommaso? No, Tommaso kicks out. 
A near fall for Damian Priest in this NXT Championship match. Drop kick by Tommaso Ciampa. Now Tommaso to the middle rope. He drops the knee on Damian Priest. Oh, Tommaso Ciampa measuring up. Tommaso with that knee right to the side of the head. Shoulders down. That's two. Kick out of two. So I'm also trying to argue with the official. What a stuck by Priest. Look at Damian Priest here. What a glam slam. What a strike. Counter by. Champa and there's a knee by Champa. Knees right to the side of Damian Priest. Look at Tommaso Champa go and there's another knee strike. Champa is a dangerous strike, I tell you that. What a strike by Priest. Oh, Damian Priest with the reckoning. Into the cover. Will the reckoning be enough? No, a kick out. Damian Priest thought he had it, and so did I. What a strike. Look at Tommaso Ciampa here. What a face buster. And Damian Priest is bleeding. That's Tommaso Ciampa with some kicks right to the face. There's a kick. There's a kick by Champa. Now Tommaso with a kick. Uh oh. This could be it. Tommaso. Psycho cutter. Answer the cover. Would that be enough to put away Priest? No. Priest able to kick out of two. So far, what a great match. Here tonight in the main event of NXT. What a strike. Uh, Damian Priest with a broken arrow. Hooks the leg. Will the broken arrow be enough? No, a kick out. And now Damian Priest is going to argue with the official. Oh, what a big boot to Tommaso Ciampa. What a strike. Elbow by Ciampa. Ciampa with a kick. Uh, Tommaso Ciampa, Project Ciampa. Shoulders down. That's two. Kick out of two. What a strike. Went for a big boot. And there's a boot by Ciampa. There's a kick right to the back. And now what is Tommaso Ciampa doing? Oh, wait a minute. Tommaso Ciampa here. Oh, man. What a DDT. There's a kick by Priest. Oh, what a flat line by Priest. Shoulders are down. That's two. Kick out of two. There's a chop. Oh, there's a kick. Tommaso Ciampa. Fairy tale ending. One, two, three. No, a kick out. Fan saying it one more time. What a strike. Irish whip. I mean, this can't be good for Tommaso. Uh oh. Oh my. Oh, what a choke slam. Shoulders down. That's two. Kick out of two. Fans saying that this is awesome, and I agree. What a strike by Tommaso. Now, what is Tommaso Champa doing now? Champa going to the outside of the ring here. On the apron, and now Tommaso Champa. No. Don't do this. 
Oh man, a neck breaker on the ropes. My goodness. Now Tommaso and a taunt. What a strike. There's a kick. And now Damian Priest has Tommaso Champ up. Oh man. Last ride. Shoulders down. That's two. Kick out of two. And it's to take over Brooklyn. Damian Priest hit that move through a table. So Champ better be glad he didn't get a last ride through a table here tonight. But Priest with a strike. Uh oh, Damian Priest with the reckoning. The reckoning. Will that be enough to put away Champa? No, Champa able to kick out of two. How did Tommaso Champa kick out of that? I thought for sure that would have did the trick. Now Tommaso Champa. Oh, what a knee right to the ribs of Priest. There's a kick. Oh, and a takedown by Damian Priest. There's a kick. Look at this. Oh, man, what a slam by Tommaso. Would that be enough to put away Priest? No, Priest kicks out of yet again. What a strike. And look at this. Oh man, what a fucking arrow. There's a strike. That's why I saw the kick. Uh oh. Tommaso. Fairy tail landing. Into the cover. That's two, three. No, a kick out. A kick out. I thought for sure we had a new champion right there. How did Priest kick out of that? What a kick. And now look at Priest. Oh, uh, the reckoning! Out of nowhere! And now Damon Priest shooting an arrow. Uh oh, Priest ain't done. Damon Priest, south of heaven! There's a strike by Priest. And Damon Priest. The reckoning again. Answer the cover. Counts to 20. This match is over. Damian Priest retains the NXT Championship. Folks, what a match though. What a big victory for the Archer of Infamy. Damian Priest is victorious. In his first title defense. Heading on NXT. Folks this was a war. But the Archer of Infamy. Somehow. Gets the victory. A great main event. Heading on the black and gold brand. Here is your winner. And still. NXT champion. Damian Priest. Well folks congrats to Priest. We're out of time. We'll see you Monday for Monday Night Raw.